Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about Knime and I'll show you how to download and install Knime. Knime is a free and open source data analytics, reporting and integration platform. Knime integrates various components like data mining, machine learning through its modular data pipeline. It is like a building block of any data analytics concepts. So what is the speciality in KNM is that it is a graphical user interface and it uses JDBC to do all these stuffs like to do data analytics for modeling, for uh, finding machine learning, for the predictions and everything. So now KNM is widely used for business intelligence purpose and also text mining and financial data analysis as well. Let us see how to download and install KNM. So here you can see that uh, knime.com once if you go here you can see download option so click here download first of all you have to register you have to give the uh, email id first name uh, that is your name and uh, what is your company or organization and you have to tell uh, your country okay so we can use the country and then you have to get the last name you can give the country a company okay and uh, you can tell like how you how you come to know about knime you can give something and then you have to select this i want to receive knime update so this is your privacy policy so once if you click here download it will take you to the next step where it will show you various options to download knime so it is available for various platform like for windows linux and uh, mac so for windows alone you have three variants one is like windows installer where you can download and install directly or else it is a self extracting archive and zip archive so anything you can click download or else if you are using linux or mac you can download and use it okay and this is the uh, latest release in knm so now let us go and try to install something so if i click here download you can see once if i click download it will uh, pop up like this it will show a message like this so you have to click i have read the uh, uh, and accept the privacy policy and everything so again it will be some privacy policy and it should be 64 bit okay and then click download where you will get a prompt to download it okay so this is an exe file you can download it so it will take hardly uh, one or two seconds to download i have already downloaded the self archive uh, file so this is a direct exe file so the difference is this is an executable file if you double click this it will directly open up okay so that is also available so as i told it is available in three different variants you can use any one I can show you that this is what the one which I have uh, installed uh, previously sorry downloaded previously now you have uh, knm 4.1 installer as well so simply what you have to do is you have to double click here where it will start installing it will show show the thing like you have to cl click Yes, and uh, it is like a basic installation okay i accept the agreement so whatever the agreement it is you can accept it if you want to use it uh, if you want to select different folder you can select it or else if you want to keep it in the specific places you can do it click next and click next it will show you what are all the various uh, thing you have to select please keep it as default whatever it may be click next okay and memory uh, that is in mb it needs these settings okay install if you click install it will start installing it is installing in c drive in my system so if you want to change the um, uh, folder or any path you can change it so this is what the installation process of knm it is very very easy once it is installed i will show you how to launch knm and uh, how the graphical user interface looks like Meanwhile, you just stay tuned and see how it is working out.
yes it is installed now so let us see um so here you have an option called launch KNM analytics platform this you can select it and click finish where the KNM platform will automatically launch so KNM has various features like as I told it is a free and open source it is it has continuous integration of services it view uh, we have various reusable components in that and it supports various extensions it supports integration and it also allows the entire data science cycle right from the ETL phase to the depth Deployment solution and uh, in KNM uh, that is a KNM server allows the use use of RESTful APIs so we can use KNM to design and develop data workflows so there are various other features which involves in KNM so the very important thing is what it is free and open source and currently uh, the KNM is used in chemical informatics, natural language processing, data analysis and visualization, machine learning and any sort of data science task and uh, analysis of nanoparticles. So of course it is used in most data analysis and data uh, that is uh, to do some data scientist task. This will be very, uh, very, very interactive and uh, um, it is a very great tool to do all these data related stuff. I hope you will enjoy learning KNM. So, meanwhile, you can see that uh, KNM they are providing all the uh, material like learning material to learn by yourself. They have a learning material, they have tutorials, they have example workflow where you can see how to design what are the various designs of workflows available. So, yes, once you uh, once you launch KNM, it will ask you that is where you have to store the data. So, it is a default workspace. See user Lenovo KNM workspace. So, like we as we discussed in the very first thing, so KNM used JDBC, so that, that is why it is showing the workspace to store it. So, either you can store it here or you can browse to store somewhere else. Now, I'm just giving launch, where else your KNM will launch initially. So, it will take some time because it is launching for the very first time in the laptop in my laptop even if in your laptop it will take some time but this will not happen every time whenever we launch it okay here we go this is the k9 analytics platform great so here this is what k9 explorer just uh, follow the cursor this is the k9 explorer this shows the overview of the available workspaces and this is the workflow coach it lists node recommendations based on the workflow built by the wide community of knm users okay so you can just enlarge this to see and next is the node repository it will show all available nodes in knm analytics platform to build our workflows and this is the workflow editor okay this is what the workflow we can get started from the example <coughs> that is the built-in example or else here we can start with the built-in example or else we can find many more examples or it will also show us guided onboarding so we will see that everything individually and the next is the um, knm hub so here you can see knm hub okay so the knm hub is used to access to knm hub that is you can we can drag and drop nodes components workflows and extensions here and the next one is the node monitor and console so node monitor which is used to show the current flow variables values or a preview of the output data of the selected node so that is what a node monitor and you can see that here we can we also have description this description of the active workflow or a selected work, workflow so this is what your complete k9 uh, interface ide will looks like so once you have done you can just start working on k9 you have to simply select here and click new where it will ask you what you have to do um like new k9 workflow okay or a new KNM workflow group so here you can see that if you click the KNM workflow here it is showing that this wizard creates a new KNM workflow project this will create a new workflow group helping to organize your workflow okay so let us go with the new KNM workflow and click next it will ask the 
uh, flow name that is a workflow name we can create okay so you can simply give like a name um, project one for the first project since we are using the first project so i'm just giving one and it will be stored in where okay like, like you can browse the uh, destination workflow or simply you can click finish where it will open up the new k9 editor so this is how you have to start working with the k9 